Hello scientists, this is Scientific Illustrator Zhong and in the comments I saw that uh, some of you are interested in how, uh, what was my re application, oof, application process to uh, these master degrees in scientific illustration and also what was the uh, twist between my application uh, between the uh, Canada and uh, Netherlands and uh, Scotland. So yeah, uh, it was a it was quite a dramatic story uh, because first of all I did quit my job. I'll tell you the full story and then uh, hopefully it can be some reference for you if you want to apply for a scientific illustration degree or any kinds of degrees. I think there are some hard lessons I learned through that process. As I mentioned in a previous video, I worked as a clinical researcher for three years right after graduating from my bachelor's degree. So uh, then I decided to go on and pursue a master's degree in scientific illustration. So, uh, and I look it up and there are uh, around six accredited programs in the world and uh, most of them are in the US, uh, three of them. And, and then another one is in Toronto, Canada. I didn't want to take GRE, so that's the one that you need to take if you want to go to US, because I didn't have time for that. So I targeted the University of Toronto program, and so I prepared my application based on that one, uh, their requirement. So, and um, so the, I think they do require your transcript and also a portfolio and if you go onto their website you'll see the uh, requirement categories of paintings that you need to draw to them. Uh, it is quite a uh, complicated, uh, no I wouldn't say complicated but uh, the requirement is quite high I have to say. Um, they, uh, they have very standardized uh, evaluation in their application process, I think. And also uh, a lot of their, uh, and also I took a look at uh, their, the people who got into the program, a lot of them already finished a master's degree. So it's, it is essentially like they're taking another PhD, I, I don't know. Uh, uh, it, does someone study there? Uh, let me know how it's like studying over there. Um, because in the end I didn't get in, <laughs> so I'll tell you how the whole thing transpires into that disaster. So I, after I switched my job to a part-time job and I did went back to uh, both, both in arts, uh, take art school uh, in the evening, uh, no, during the weekends, sorry, and then um, and then uh, I also took a brain science master degree at a very good medical school in Taipei because um, still, I'm still interested in brain science, uh, neuroscience. And um, I did get a GPA 4 from my brain science degree. Uh, so I, then I used that to be my transcript to apply for University of Toronto. Um, then, and also uh, I spent about a year and a half to develop my drawing technique and then prepare the portfolio according to their requirements. I also emailed their um, uh, secretary, no, uh, administrator to uh, ask a lot of questions about uh, their application process. So with all these uh, preparation, I was very confident that I would mm, be getting into the program. Uh, yes, <laughs> I was that confident. So uh, I was so confident that I decided to quit my brain science program. And uh, so I remember walking into the, uh, the advisor's office and told them that and they were like, are you sure that you want to do this? Why don't you stay for an extra year to finish this degree and before taking off? And I was like, no, I want to uh, start doing art ASAP. So I filed the, how do you call that, uh, leave of absence. I think that's for job, uh, how do you call that, in school, not sure. Uh, and so, so yeah, I filed that to the school and then, uh, then I was like, yes, I'm heading off to become an artist. Then two days later, I received the rejection letter from U of T. 
that was a big blow in my head. I was like, oh my god, what do I do now then? Um, since I told everybody uh, before I leave that yes, I'm going off to become a scientific illustrator and I'm going to study abroad um, to Toronto. Was like, now that's all like gone. So uh, I really didn't know how to go back to the uh, brain science program again. <laughs> uh, I was depressed for two weeks. Uh, it was during Chinese New Year time, so yeah, I get to lay in bed uh, a lot during the holiday time since nothing else was going on. And uh, also at the same time, I really feel like uh, a lot of um, the I, I was really a lot of my confidence was was crumbling down about uh, my own planning because uh, this is basically my own, uh, the outcome from my own uh, unwise arrangements. So after laying in bed for two weeks, I decided that, okay, I'm at the point of no return in my pursuit of becoming an artist. So uh, I have to find some way to carry on. So I got up from my bed and looked up which other programs that I can still apply to. And it turns out that the programs in Europe are uh, still opening for applications. They, uh, their deadlines were in May. So uh, yeah, I took another three weeks to uh, really polish my portfolio and upgrade it to uh, even better standard. And then uh, I apply for the ones in the Netherlands and in Scotland. And luckily I got through both of their selection process and for the one in the Netherlands uh, they have to take a second examination which we will be drawing on site uh, and to determine whether we uh, can be accepted to the program. So uh, they do offer to do it through Skype but I think it will be better if I just fly over there since I already quit my job. <laughs> so I do think that was a very good decision because then I can get to see these programs with my own eyes and how the atmosphere is over there and how the uh, teachers and the students interact and we had lunch together. So um, it really uh, put things into perspective, you know, like sometimes when you only read things on the internet and uh, you don't really know how uh, the quality of the program actually is and uh, when I went to the Maastricht program and it turns out that they have superb quality of education so their teachers are very very nice uh, very friendly towards their uh, pupils and uh, the students are also very diverse just as what they say on their website that they take international students because uh, before going there I was a little bit concerned that they prioritize Dutch students and it turns out that uh, there are only one Dutch students in the entire class <laughs> when I went there and there were no Dutch students in my uh, year so uh, that was very reassuring that uh, they have give equal opportunity to everyone around the world so um, so, and also by seeing how uh, they implement the atelier model, which is uh, the atelier model, which is the studio model that uh, Rembrandt teach their students back then, and everybody works as colleagues. So, uh, and eventually, I decided to pick the Maastricht program uh, for my master of scientific illustration. And I have such a great time there. I made a documentary about it, and you can check it out. And also I won uh, the scholarship from the British Council to support my study. So um, in the end, I sort of turned around my initial misstep slash failure in my application. Yeah, that's also why I want to share this story uh, because maybe some of you are thinking about uh, leaving academia or choosing another field in your uh, expertise uh, or uh, whether you uh, or making big career decisions and um, and there will definitely be uh, unexpected uh, situations on the way and uh, it could be quite uh, scary and uh, sometimes challenging so um, this was one of my example that my initial rejection uh, actually leads me to a very uh, incredible opportunity later on. Um, 
well, it, it took a lot of work, and uh, and also uh, it was very very stressful. It was a very stressful period. However, um, there is an opportunity and a chance that you can turn your current situation around and reach to a place that uh, even make you flourish more. So yeah, that's our quick chat, uh, and I really enjoyed doing this with you so uh, leave in in the comments uh, what else about my scientific illustration journey you like to ask me about and i will be very happy to share it with you so i look forward to see you in the tutorials until next time